I fucking hate this game. The English language just doesn't have words to describe how much I fucking hate this game. My emotions are not enough to describe how much I hate this game. I would have to go out and mutilate a human being and present it to you to really give you any remote idea of how much I despise this fucking game. And it's, there's, there's very little that I can really say that's redeeming about it other than it reminded me of when I watched this show. Granted, just the first season. It was a much more enjoyable experience than the, the this, this thing that Satan shat on Earth to trick us into playing. I mean, it's not like the game starts out very promising. You get a little piss-poor intro scene showing you all this stuff that is in the show. What they don't tell you is, oh hey, all of this crap blows. Except the speeder. But the speeder only blows about half the time, actually. All the rest of this shit just sucks. The controls suck. I mean, graphically, it's not a terrible game at all, but every blessed thing that should make a game enjoyable is either fucked up or omitted. Fun is just not something you're going to have. Fun is what you would do if you took this thing and wiped your ass with it. So, first things first, the overworld, let's call it. You are the Sequest, or some really pathetic variant of it that just happens to have the same name. You've got a shit ton of weapons, which you will most likely blow through in the following overworld uh, levels. And the entire idea behind the game is that you just kind of cruise around with this shitty-ass control scheme, find areas that say, oh, hey, go do this, and then you go do it. Sounds simple enough, right? How could they possibly fuck that up? Mario had just a simple mission. Oh, hey, go do that. Go save the princess, and then get laid. It worked very well for him. But no, in this, the... The simplicity just ends the minute you actually get to where you need to go. And just to clear it up, this is a mining mission. This is what you do when you fuck up in a mission which you have no clue where to go or what to do, and you lose an extremely expensive piece of machinery. I.e. the stinger. Which I would also like to call the swimming dildo. So at the beginning of the game, go ahead and hoard money, because God knows you will need it. So in the overworld, you move like shit. You move slower than shit. You have to very, very precisely place your gigantic, pathetic ass over the level you are trying to get to. Should you fail, the, the, the game has no sympathy. It's just not going to let you go to the mission. You could be a half inch from the mission and the game will not let you progress into it. Simply because you're not sitting right on it. You didn't shove your ass right on its cock. So yeah. I, I haven't actually seen anybody do this game. Lord knows many many times I didn't want to finish because it doesn't really grab you in any particular way except for the novelty factor and then there's a simple fact that as games like this tend to do it's kind of like it's got UN squadron syndrome all this money you're picking up, you have to ask yourself each time you go on a mining mission or you're given a confederate bonus for completing a regular mission, why the fuck do I have to pay for this shit? I'm the captain of the vessel, you hired my ass! 
My personal fortune should not have to pay for this crap. And if it does, production standards are balls. That killer whale swimming around there, that orca, has far more durability than anything you will ever, ever put out in the water, including the sea quest, for Christ's sake. You might say, oh, well, that's kind of offset by the fact that the sea quest can regenerate. No. The sea quest regenerates about as fast as I shit every other day. So count out how many times you take a shit in a week. Divide that by two, and you have how often in a week the sea quest will regenerate 5% of its health. Ah, yes. And then you'll see a lot of that. Out of ammo. This is the first level. You will run out of several things. And they lull you with the ammo as well. Because they give you these supposedly homing torpedoes. Well, the computer-controlled submarines also get countermeasures, just like you. An infinite amount, of course. So, your torpedo will just kind of spin around like a fucking idiot. Not hit its target unless you're right on top of it. And then you wonder why the hell they gave you that shit in the first place. And there are areas in this game where having homing torpedoes would be very nice. Or having torpedoes that at least run a straight fucking line and hit their target would be nice. Now, this doesn't look so bad, does it? It's kind of like, hey, I can just cruise through here and blow shit up. That's cool. That's what we like in video games, right? Or if you're a guy. If you're a chick, you like The Sims or some gay shit like that. Okay, that's not entirely true, but I digress. Yeah, you just kind of fly around and blow shit up. Now, if you really want to make this mission easier, then it already is. And don't expect that to hold for very long. Just take the truck. Because the truck can pick up this nuclear crap you're supposed to pick up for tree-hugging pukes that sent you on this godforsaken mission. Because the truck can also shoot back. In addition to that, the crab, the floating STD, and actually I would tend to say that actual crabs are more useful than the sea crab, cannot fight back effectively. It can, just not efficiently. So pretty much this is the only time you will ever use the truck outside of the final boss. You'll use pretty much everything against the final boss if you really want to save money. But as far as just finishing a mission and being able to complete your supposed objective, the truck can do this all in one. And then it's never useful again. It's a gigantic ass piece of eye candy. Super Nintendo eye candy, so we have to keep this in perspective. 